A traveling nurse who made her way to North Dakota to help out with the coronavirus efforts receives a shocking diagnosis. Caressa Stinchcomb shares her story and how she's remaining positive through it all. It's pretty surreal and unbelievable but how all of it happened. Helene Neville is a traveling nurse from the East Coast. She arrived in Bismarck on September 7th to help out with the coronavirus efforts. She says she was working three to four 12-hour shifts every week until mid-October. Then she started feeling tired and decided to go to the ER where she was greeted by a nurse. I said to the nurse, you know, I'm a traveling nurse. I don't know one person in this town. And, um, and by the way, I don't have insurance at this very moment. Can you help me? And she came around and just said, You're, you come to the right place. Then I passed out. Neville says she hoped she just had COVID, but after doing some tests, it was something nobody wants to hear. It's stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and it's um, with some metastases to my liver and spleen. Neville has been a nurse for the last 36 years. She's worked in eight states and 200 different hospitals. She says it's humbling to be on the other side of the bed. I gained a huge perspective when you tell somebody, you know, you don't know how long you have. On November 19th, she had a port installed so she could start chemo, but it was infected and she was hospitalized earlier this week with a blood infection. And to make things worse, she was diagnosed with COVID. Now she has to wait four more weeks to start chemo. You know, as a runner, the race is already starting. So I'm going to have a lot of catching up to do. Despite all of the hurdles, she's doing what she can to remain positive. There's always somebody less fortunate. And so I have to you know, try to be an example for other people that, you know, there's life with hope, but it, it's not just hope. If you have action too, and the action I want to display is that, um, you know, until your last breath, you can be an example for others. And the 60 year old says she has a lot of life left to live. I want to see my grandkids drive a car <laughs> or just things like that. I want to be a nurse for 40 years, so I want four more years. Although she's so far away from home, she says it's right where she needs to be. You know, people say things happen for a reason, or I don't know if that's true, but having it happen in this location, I, I was glad to be here and not somewhere else. Reporting for KX News, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. And she also told us she hopes to check another thing off of her bucket list, run across Canada, just like she ran across the entire United States. She ran more than 13,000 miles by herself, stopping at cancer centers and hospitals along the way. And get this, she's the first person to run across all 50 states.